the vines are gone, but there's no way I'm going near those bees. items here. Let's combine that Psycor with your card so you can rank up. stuff right there. Good selection. Smart. Cyclops will keep you in the fight. choice. I need any more gadgets right now. Good, because I would never trust one to someone the so vines young. Are of course. There's no way I'm going near those bees. I can't leave now. They need my help here. Otto's workshop. Looks like it went out with a bang.
of this card lying around. It's a picture of the Psychic Six. I mean, seven. It's locked. It's locked. I was sinking Lake Rulovia. My life flashing before my eyes. Oh my god, what did you do? I said a prayer. I thought of you. Aww. And then I remembered the super sneezing powder I keep for emergencies. You blew your brains out? Right through my nose and up to the surface where I assume Ford found it. His mind must have been shattered before he could tell us about it. So I just ended up in Otto's unclaimed brains bin. So, uh, where's your body? I assume it's a handsome popsicle at the bottom of Lake Rulovia. Well, let's get back and get it. It would be nice to see how well I've aged. Or maybe not aged. Not fair. Your body's been preserved on ice for 20 years. Mine looks like this. Ah, you'll look a lot younger after we shave that beard. Oh, you do not want to see what is under this hair. Oh, what is it? Honestly, uh, I have no idea. So, this body is from someone named Nick from the mailroom? So I'm told. Uh, first question, w when did we get a mailroom? No idea. I don't go over to the new place much. The second question, where's mailman Nick's brain? Lost is what I hear. Well, they should search Otto's creepy brain collection. He doesn't keep the best records. Hey, want some gooby duck? Yes! Wait, what is it? Fermented mushroom liquor. <laughs> it's all I drink now. Well, uh, all I used to drink. Yeah, no. We're smashing that horrible distillery. Honestly, it smells like you've been boiling gym socks in there. If you smash it, where will I boil my gym socks? Bobby, germs! <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel so much better. I love being in a body again so much. Every sight, every sound, every... everything! How are you feeling? I feel so much better. I love being in a body again so much. Every sight, every sound, every... everything! How are you feeling? I feel so much. I love being in a body again so much. Every sight, every sound, every everything. The fuel mobile needs a tune-up and a car wash. And actually, it smells like there's a skunk family living in there, so never mind. The fuel mobile needs a tune-up and a car wash. And actually, it smells like there's a skunk family living in there, so never mind. I'm picking up. 
Hmm. Is it this direction? straight thoughts around. Thoughts! Straight thoughts! Get you.
These are jerks. Strong bees. Smoke to get in your eyes. I'll get you, bees. Yeah, bees. Smoke this. You big things can't take the heat. Hope I'm not contributing to the my bee populations. Witch, you don't exist. You're just something someone put into my mind. Which means there's probably a very powerful psychic nearby. Another hallucination. A very solid hallucination. Oh man, are you gonna cast a spell or something? Who are you? How did you get in here? And where was our security, eh? Cassiopeia? Author of Mind Swarm? Ford Cruller brought me through security. Ford? Ford Cruller? Came back? Oh, I knew it! I knew he would. But I'm not ready. I've been trying to fix this place up for him, but you know these bees are so demanding. Ford wants me to turn on the astrolabe, but it's covered in, well, really angry bees. Know anything about that? Oh, I think I can help you with that. I'm just happy to be useful again. Get out of my way. Ford needs me. Oh, I can tend to the queen later. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. She says. I can't talk to you anymore. Wait! Cassie! Who's she? It's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through it. Cassie? Shh, I hear you. Cassie, would you sign my copy of Mind Swarm? I was wondering when you were going to ask. What took you so long? Thanks, Cassie. So, are you the Green Needle Witch? What? Why would you say such a thing? Because you're so pointy. Those are pine needles. They stick to the honey on my suit. I can't help it. 
because you lurk through the woods in the dark. I do my beekeeping at night because this darn bee suit is so hot. Because you're so tall. Okay, well, I do wear lifts in this thing so I can reach the upper hives, but my beekeeper doesn't do that. No reason. Well, I'll admit, I have been playing into the legend a little bit. Why? I need to keep people away from here to protect it. This is a sacred place. What's up with these strange bee things? I've lost control of the bees. They're keeping me like a prisoner here. I'm going to help get you out of here, Cassie. Shh. Thanks. What are you doing out here by yourself? Why don't you work out of the mother load with the rest of the psychonauts? Oh, I never could adapt to the whole new psychonauts thing. I like to stay out here and remember the old days. Also, I want to take care of it as best I can, in case Ford and the others ever come back. Do you spend time with Bob Zanotto? No. Bob doesn't really want to spend time with anyone these days. He cut himself off from everybody after he lost Helmet. I'm worried about him, but I don't know how to help. Would you mind if I snuck a peek inside your mind? Oh, thank you. I haven't had a checkup since Ford went away. Hello? Cassie? Bees? Cassie? I... It's okay, I know why you're here. Now, to whom shall I dedicate this inscription? Not that many people find their way in here these days. You must have a good head on your shoulders. Ah, definitely a big one. Now, just imagine what you could do if you were using 175% of your brain! Actually, Cassie, I need your help with something else. We're on a critical mission, but there's a swarm of bees that's making it impossible. Stop right there, young man. Nothing is impossible. If you follow the 25 simple steps I've outlined in my book. Now then, let's go show these bees what we can do when we put our minds together. There's that pesky little volume. Thank you, young man. I have been looking for this silly book forever. Wait, she was going to help me. What? This one? <laughs> oh, I'll admit the author was helpful once, when we needed the money to leave the country, but that was a long time ago. But when the chips were down and we needed to fight to protect our friends? Ah, worthless. Is there another Cassie book in there that could help me? They are all restricted. Hmm. Then again, maybe I could help you. If you were to help me. There are two other books missing from my collection. Dangerous books. These are the books that got us into this horrible situation. These are the wrong books, you understand? Round them up for me. Take them out of circulation. They are overdue. Understand? Then you'll help me with the bees? I'll help you with the whole alphabet, Sonny. Hello? Shh. Lower your voice, please. Where should I look for the missing books? Maybe you should start at the beginning. Have you tried the children's corner? What books am I looking for exactly? One is supposed to be a teacher's edition textbook, but I doubt there are any valuable lessons in there. 
The other is a lurid crime story. Ugh, terrible books. The sooner we get them in isolation, the better. What books am I looking for exactly? One is supposed to be a teacher's edition textbook, but I doubt there are any valuable lessons in there. The other is a lurid crime story. Ugh, terrible books. The sooner we get them in isolation, the better. Can I talk to that nice writer, Cassie, again? You don't want to talk to her. She seems harmless, but she's full of dangerous ideas about human potential. Why do you want to round up these books? Because I'm the only one around here who cares about safety. I care. Great. The other Cassies had their chance to run things, and everybody got hurt. How did everybody get hurt? We all went to fight Melinda. And guess which motivational speaker thought she could talk sense into that monster? Ridiculous! It just made her mad, made things worse. So now, I'm in charge, and I keep all the books in order. All the important books. No offense, but I think you're running too tight a ship here. You can't keep people prisoner. Better to lock up a few books than have the entire library destroyed. I gotta run. No running in the library. This librarian aspect of Cassie's mind seems to have her whole psyche on lockdown. Until I figure out a plan, I'll play along with her scheme and suspicion.
find these books. I'm her favorite assistant and best assistant, and I already looked, so give it up. Where did you look? <sighs> I looked in the children's corner, but it turns out that place is more dangerous than it sounds. Don't worry, I'll find those books. Don't, you'll make me look bad. Don't worry, I'll find those books. Don't, you'll make me look bad. Seriously? lake for this? Having fun? Getting pretty sore, actually. This thing doesn't even have a saddle. Having fun? Getting pretty sore, actually. This thing doesn't even have a saddle. Hi, I'm Rats. And I am the Lady of the Lake, helper of knights on noble missions. Ooh, I'm on a noble mission. Can you help me? Sorry, already gave my sword to a handsome knight fighting a dragon. Memento Mori. Okay. Howdy. It's later than you think. Sheesh. I'm only ten. Howdy. It's later than you think. Sheesh. I'm only ten. It's no joke, mortal. Hey, have you seen any runaway books? Uh, sorry. Smarts ain't my thing. Hey, 
Have you seen any runaway books? Uh, sorry. Smarts ain't my thing. Meister. Papa fell into the pretzel machine. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. Not to worry. It was his secret wish. Really? I think so. That's why I pushed him. So glad you're a fictional character in someone else's mind. Well, now that we met, I'm in your mind, too. I'm so glad you're a fictional character in someone else's mind. Well, now that we met, I'm in your mind, too. Watch out! There's a giant, uh, you out there hunting for you! Don't worry, young man. The librarian can't get in here. That's why she sends in her operatives. Who, me? I'm not an operative. I'm just playing along with her until I find the real Cassie. The real Cassie? Tell me, child, what is your name? Rasputin. And tell me, who is the real Rasputin? The one you are with your friends? With your family? Or the one you save for your... 
special someone. Hmm? Is that the real you? Or are you actually a combination of all those different identities? Important challenges in our lives can cause us to create entirely new identities for ourselves, sometimes summoning powerful archetypes from our unconscious mind. The hero, the explorer, the shadow. My special talent allows me to summon up whatever archetype I need to survive my current situation. Would you like me to teach you how? Focus your mind's eye on a vision of the archetype you need most right now. Is it a trickster? A wise mentor? Or maybe a mighty warrior? Close your eyes. Empty your thoughts. Oh! Well, very good. Woohoo! You'll get better with practice. archetype will act on its own sometimes, but you can also focus it on a specific task. I think if I use projection on this door, my archetype would go in there. I think if I use projection on this door, my archetype would go in there. Hey! Not now, I'm working! I think if I use projection on this door, my archetype would go oh, in there. Look at him go! Here. So cute! Under the door like a pesky doo! That's the spirit! What a good boy! See where this little fellow takes you. I'll meet you at the end. And then, I'll tell you my plan for the librarian. Sup, clone? Aw, that's cute. My clone thinks he's real. We make a great team. I think we should see other people. Hey! Not now, I'm working. Eh, feeling a bit flat. <laughs> Sup, clone? Aw, that's cute. My clone thinks he's real. <laughs> Hi there. Lob dub. What was that? Lub dub. Lub dub. Lub dub. Uh. Lub. Hey, I know you. Aren't you from The Mind and Introduction? Yes, yes. Always nice to meet a fan. No time for autographs, though. Sorry. Wow. Conceited. Please excuse me. I have a lot of thinking to do. Hey, I know you. Yes, yes. Always nice to meet a fan. No time for autographs, though. Sorry. Wow. Conceited. Please excuse me, I have a lot of thinking to do. Why so glum, Dino Chum? Well, I'm from an old textbook, and it turns out I'm not considered a real dinosaur. Please don't tell the librarian. She'll throw my whole book out. Make a great team. I think we should see other people. Here I go! Easy squeezy! Sure, sure! You just take it easy. Back in the chip! Excuse me. Yes? Are you in pain? To be free of the flesh is to be free of pain, my child. How did you lose your skin? I donated my body to medical science. I had no idea this is what they had in mind. Yikes. Are you mad about it? Skin's actually a lot more trouble than it's worth, to be honest. I'm free of rashes, itching, pimples. Aren't you cold? 
Cold is a feeling of the flesh, my friend. No skin, no cold. You look like you could teach me a lot about anatomy. You bet. How's this for starters? There's one of me inside of you. Gross. Hey, that's insensitive. Why aren't you, like, dripping blood and stuff? It happens from time to time, but I just go over to the horror books and drip on them. They like it. Bye, muscle man. Bye, baggy old clothes boy. Hey, maybe you should try reading books instead of eating them. Read books? What is that, some no fad diet? Oy. Sounds like a good way to starve to death. Hey, maybe you should try reading books instead of eating them. Read books? What is that, some no fad diet? Oy. Sounds like a good way to starve to death. Hit me all you want! And I'll My nerves are on another page! <laughs> and I'll only multiply! Hey, handsome! <laughs> Don't you just love going to sit over here right now? Yes, <laughs> they're delicious! Nippo! Nippo! My dogs are barking today! Enabler. Everybody is now. I'm missing a piece. Can you calculate its volume? No. Kids today. Hey, are you the formula for a general conical surface? No. I just clenched my belt too tight. Hard to breathe. So, what are you a molecule for? I don't know. What are you a person for? So, what are you a molecule for? I don't know. What are you a person for? You can't tear us apart. We're meant to be together. Hi. What are you two up to? Shh. We're running away from our spouses to start a new life together. You can't tear us apart. We're meant to be together. Hi. What are you two up to? Shh. We're running away from our spouses to start a new life together.
Hey, you two. Not a good time. Nice sword. It was bequeathed to me by the fair lady of the lake, so that I may slay this dragon. What did I ever do to you? What are you guys fighting about? No idea. I was just chilling when the crusader here got all aggro on me. Let those be thy last words, worm from hell! Hey, can I borrow that sword? Yes, please, take it. Nay, for tis my duty most holy to embed its steel into this deadly beast. See? What normal person talks that way? Is there a way we could maybe de-escalate this situation? This guy and his horse are just straight-up jerks. <laughs> I agree, Silverwind. Dragons are a plague on our land. Mr. Knight? That's Sir Knight to you. Sir Knight? Maybe you should just leave that dragon alone? Have you allied yourself with the Devil's Winged Serpent? Hey, kid. Don't worry about it. I already called the cops. <laughs> I'm just keeping this weirdo occupied until they get here. Summon whatever reinforcements you wish. We'll need them to haul your stinking carcass away. <laughs> okay, buddy. Maybe we should focus on what you two have in common. Like, do you guys like pizza? Oh, yeah. Me... me too. Well, that's amazing. I had no idea dragons liked pizza. Great. What are your favorite flavors? Pepperoni. Well, I usually get half and half. On one side, I like pineapple and ham, and on the other side, I like maidens and cheese. Oh my god! Pineapple and ham is an abomination! I knew you were a fell beast! Will you two be okay if I leave? Yeah, don't worry. This guy's all talk. I am merely finishing up my pre-smoting prayers. Whatever. I think I hear some emotional baggage nearby. I need the purse tag here. I think I hear something. Hey, respect my curves. Periodically. Hey, do you bite people? Periodically. What are you a formula for? S sine waves. What are you a formula for? S sine waves. First tag. What's that sound? Their name is Ferris. Huh? Sorry, magnet humor. You don't bite people, do you? Only if their name is Ferris. Huh? Sorry, magnet humor.
Listen up to you and your hat. I hope my improved projection abilities don't go to my archetype's head.
it! He helped! Seeing you two work together so well really inspired me. And it gave me an idea. We need to get all of Cassie's archetypes together, round up all the runaway books, and give them to the librarian. But she'll lock you all up. Oh, don't worry. We won't be in them. We'll be with you. Now, go find the others. Hurry! Ah, the teacher's edition. We all learned so much from this one, but... We can't have her making up new identities and confusing things right when I'm getting everything sorted, can we? No, we can't. Just one more book to go. You're right on the edge of becoming my favorite assistant. Battle with Malik must have brought this librarian to power. To make Cassie feel safe, I think I should help Cassie get her aspects back in balance. Shakespeare? Forsooth, etc. Oh, wow. You really talk that way. No, I just like to give the fans what they want. Bizarre. Hey! Not now. I'm working. Hey, are you William Shakespeare? Forsooth, etc. Oh, wow. No, I just like to give the fans what they want. Bizarre. I'm Raz. What's your name? Say my name. And I shall release the child! Shorty? I shall turn you into a frog for that! It doesn't matter anyway! I thought the baby was creepy! So I sold it to the Pretzelmeister! I'm Raz. What's your name? Say my name! And I shall release the child! I have no idea. It doesn't matter anyway. I thought the baby was creepy, so I sold it to the Pretzelmeister. Do you know any spells that help find books? Of course. <clears throat> Will you use your spells to help find some runaway books? No, sorry. I am no friend of the dark power that emanates from the librarian's desk. Please help me. I promise. I'm tricking the librarian, not helping her. Many ally themselves with evil when it is convenient, thinking they can swerve back to the righteous path before it's too late. That's not what I'm doing, is it? Please help me. Many ally themselves with evil when- That's not what I'm doing, is it? And I am the Fisher King, last guardian of the Holy Grail. Really? Then where's the Grail? Currently in the dishwasher. The dishwasher? Top shelf boy. Gentle cycle, don't worry. Hi, I'm Raz. And I... Really? Then where's the... Currently the top shelf boy. Gentle cycle, don't worry. Thank <laughs> you. 
Pirates don't really talk that way. Oh, sorry, I... They talk like this. Arr! people from my nose. Hey, it's not raining anymore. Oh, very this is just scary. A fashion piece. Oh, you think it so? It distracts people well, thank from my you. nose. That really makes my day. Very scary. Oh, you think so? Why, thank you. That really makes my day. Which? But can I borrow your magic wand? Sorry, sorry. I'm just roasting a marshmallow here. <laughs> in here. But be careful. This is the shop of Fanny Flats, the famous counterfeiter. Cassie works for a counterfeiter? I work for myself, but I do what I need to survive. After our parents dumped us here, we needed an archetype that was a little more thick-skinned. Cassie, we've come to bust you out. Did someone say bust? What was that? Huh? Shh! Never say bust in here too loudly. But it's true. We have a plan. Oh, hey, Teach. Listen, now's not a really good time. Flats has a big deal coming up, and she's really on edge. And I'm working on my ticket out of here. Can we help? Listen, don't tell anyone, but the cops are closing in on this place. The boss's days are numbered. I cut an immunity deal for myself. I just need to get them some evidence they can use against the big gal. But she's watching everybody like a hawk these days. And I can't get away. We'll do it. I'll get the evidence you need and we'll... B we'll briskly walk out of here together. Okay? Deal. But remember, 
never double cross a double crosser. Okay, I need three pieces of evidence. Better split up. Wait, who am I talking to? Are down. Wow, this carving is beautiful. Officer? Hey, kid. Are you investigating Fanny Flats? Sorry, kid. Can't, you know, comment on an ongoing investigation and whatnot. So you are investigating Fanny Flats? I didn't say nothing. What are you investigating? Well, I'm thinking of investigating weird little kids with goggles who've recently drifted in from out of town. Any idea where I can find some evidence of Fanny Flats' crimes? Corruption runs deep in this town, kid. You can find evidence of it everywhere. Especially in the fish cannery, the print shop, and the market. What would you do with evidence if you were to hypothetically find some? Oh, we'd use it to put the squeeze on Fanny, of course. Like, legally speaking? Yeah, yeah, totally legal squeezing. I'll let you get back to work. Stay out of trouble, kid. Hi, kitty. Meow. Don't eat the fish. It's full of mercury. Meow. We would have done more, but we got full. Hi, worms. Yo! Do either of you know which way the fish cannery is? Yes, yeah, over there. Well, we take you there, but the smell is out of control. Which way to the print shop? Oh, you do not want to go over there. They're counterfeiters. Shh. How can I get to the market? That's way over there. Don't bother. Prices are nuts. What do you know about Fanny Flats? Ugh, she runs this town with her fake money business. But she doesn't control us book warriors. Every time she tries to cut us down, we just multiply. Do you have any evidence that incriminates Fanny Flats? Oh yeah, we just uncovered a big juicy piece of evidence this morning. Can I have it? We ate it? What did you expect? 
Okay, bye. If you see any juicy evidence, please don't eat it. Okay! <laughs> wow, this carving is beautiful. Why, thank you. Hey, seen any evidence around here? Nope. If I did, I'd remember. I'm an elephant. I noticed. Notice what? That you're an elephant. Yeah, I am. What about it? Hey, see, nope. I know nope. that you're... Yeah, I am. What about it?
See if we can get to the heart of this bad mood. Looks like those guys just went out of print. Wait, what am I doing? Oh yeah, collecting evidence. I've got to stop saying that so loud. <laughs> Here's some emotional baggage now.
you want to do that? These things are murder on my back. Yeah. Whoa, I'm an airplane! I've got to get some good dirt on Fanny Flats. Criminy. I think that's the best evidence I'll find in this part of town. I should check out the other neighborhoods for more. Done more, but we got full.
This fish market is clean. For a fish market, I mean. But just dirty enough to have some juicy evidence, I'll bet. Catfish will help you grow a beard. Top seasoning past its prime, my fish is sublime. Come get your catfish. Top extract fish that's past its prime. Put catfish in shoes to cure flat feet. Come get your top. Rotten fish. Day old catfish is even better for you. Pot that looks like octopus. Terribly old and rotten fish here. We cut this for a healthy brain. Silver carp, big head carp, black carp, grass carp, fermented fish. Packs a punch. Cut. Hi, I'd like some carp. Don't have any. What's that on your back? Plastic samples. I'm just doing test marketing. Tell me, how likely are you to buy carp in the next 10 days? Somewhat likely. Thank you for taking our survey. You've automatically been added to our mailing list. Oh, great. I think I smell some ripe evidence nearby. Better investigate. Hey, what's a panda bear doing in a fish market? Buying fish just like everybody else. No. Sorry, but why would anybody want to buy rotten fish? Listen, all the fish in this market is rotten. I'm the only one telling you the truth. Fair enough. Catfish will cure your hunger problem. I'll have some catfish, please. One catfish-ish coming up. Catfish-ish? It's so close to catfish, you can't taste the difference. Never mind. Our poetry, carp music, we gold fish! Catfish will make you smarter! Also have carp accessories. Carp sweaters, carp leaf. Looks like evidence of something. Just one more piece of evidence to find. Oh. <laughs> 
Here's the steamer trunk tag.
this looks fishy. Better take it as evidence. I think that's all the evidence Cassie needs. I got all the evidence I need. Better bring it back to Cassie. Oh. It's full of mercury. That's all the evidence we could get. Think it's enough? Let me be the judge of that. Oh, yeah. This is some hot dirt right here. We'll be able to blackmail her with this for years. Blackmail? I thought you were going to arrest her. What? How is she going to make the money she needs to pay us from jail? But if she's not locked up and she finds out I was the one who sent her up the river... Hey, don't worry. We'll, uh, protect you or something. Let's beat it. This was a bust. What? Bust? Bust! It's a bust! Ah! Ah! Ew. Not a chapter of which I am particularly proud. Hey, she was forced into the outlaw life. Not that part. I just meant... Nobody likes a snitch. There you are, all safe and sound again. Thank you, young man. You were a little loud for my liking, but you got the job done. And now you'll help me with those bees? Oh, are you scared of bees? Well, I know of one place where you'll feel completely safe. Hey! Put me down! Of all the double-crossing... This was all part of the plan. It was? Yep. And I thought I was the tricky one. Oh my, we've come to a bad place. No, it's perfect. How is it perfect? Any place is perfect, when we're all together. Well, I haven't seen you in a while. We should never have let her split us up. When we're together, nothing is impossible. Well, that tears it. I hate to damage a book, of course. But that last line was too corny, even for a motivational speaker. We're not going to let you control us anymore. Oh. And which one of you thinks you should be in charge? None of you could stop Maligula. None of you could protect your friends. I am the real Cassiopeia. And I'll show you how we fight off a foreign invader. Ready for the shushing of your life! What we need here is a little pop. Swarming out into the universe! Okay, you look 
is more well. Ending to the story. What's going on? Who's in here? Hello, Cassie. You? The self righteous little writer? What are you doing in here? We writers are most effective when we get inside someone's head. Oh! Sleep, you're asleep. 
When my students fall asleep in class, they get sent to the principal's office. Oh no, not you. That's right, now it's two on one. Hey, don't forget to count me. Ah, it's... Ah! Hey, where's my PR department? Oh, there you, you are. No, no, something's not right. In fact, you could say something stinks. You! Oh no, I can't handle all three of you at once. That's kind of the point. Ready, gals? I'm ready. Together now! believe I failed again I guess I guess I'm not the real Cassie yes you are and so am I me too mostly when we need money hey I'm pretty good in a fight you might have noticed Are you the real Cassie? Hmm, not sure. But I'm sure she's in here somewhere. Now then, did you say something about my bees? Oh my, they really aren't behaving, are they? That's it. I'm all out of bee puns, I promise. Think you can do something about them? I'll try. But I feel like I've... lost a little control of them. Oh, how I wish my old partner were here. I think they just need a nap. Oh, bully! How did you know I needed you? A little bird told me. Oh, sorry, I should say three little bees. Well then, think we can get this swarm to stand down? I do. Bedtime for bees.
So, how's production? Uh, jars of honey and no one to give it to. Come on. 